Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Lone Peak. This video is all about the power system in the Lone Peak camper. All right, in this video, we're gonna cover a lot of topics. So get ready, we're gonna talk about solar panels, deep cycle batteries, LED lighting, juice box, all the works. But let's start with an optional accessory on our website that is the 12 volt lighting and wiring kit. What does that actually get you? So that gets you two pre-installed LED light bars. We have one here on the tailgate and then we have one inside. And then it also comes with 12 volt wiring run throughout the extrusions for both of those channels, if you will, and a third channel for the optional vent fan so that it's pre-wired for that. So straight from the factory, you'll get a bunch of wires and you'll get your LED lights and they'll all pop out here in the corner in the rear passenger side. That's where all of our wires go to. So one cool thing that we're announcing is that the LED lights are now going to be dual color. You'll be able to switch them from white to amber and they'll also have brightness control. So you might be asking, if I have a bunch of wires in the corner, what do I do with those? And how do I switch the color and change the brightness? Let me tell you. All right, so this is juice box. It is a junction box where you have physical buttons to be able to switch up to six channels. You can also use an iOS or Android app to do the same. So it makes it really easy if you're standing next to your truck, you can just use the physical buttons or you can actually use the app if you're inside of the camper to switch up to six channels. Now, you are totally welcome just to get the 12 volt wiring and LED lighting kit and use your own junction box. So if you already have gear that you wanna to use, totally fine with us. But if you want to have the best experience, we are creating an even better juice box than this for the final product. This version of juice box worked really well, but it was pretty simple. Six channels, simple on and off, we wanted to take the production version to another level. So it will have three different independent channels for dual color LED lighting. You'll have amber and you'll have white. Each of those will also have five different brightness levels. So you have your, your tailgate light, your tent light, and then also an output for an awning light. Yes, we are working on, on an awning that will have integrated LED light bars into each of the supports. There's no lead time for this, no date, but we're working on it. So when that ships, you'll be able to add that and you'll have lighting built into your awnings. It's pretty awesome. In addition to those three output channels, you'll have an additional eight output channels. Two of those will be auxiliary ports that you can use for what you want. Six of those will be used for a bunch of different accessories we have planned. I can't quite get ahead of myself and tell you what they all are. Uh, one of them is heater. One of them is gonna be the vent fan. So that's heating and cooling. Uh, one of them is the light bar and then maybe some other lights that we're working on that are yet to be released. We don't wanna get, get ahead of ourselves too soon. So that will be juice box. It will not be mounted to the side of the gear vault because we don't want you to have to buy gear vault to mount juice box. It will actually mount to the side of this A pillar and the gear vault will actually be pushed back a little bit to give you room to mount that. Now that we've covered all the different changes to juice box, we need to talk about how do we get power to juice box. So, Let's roll inside of the camper and I'll show you a current setup. Juice box is powered from a 12 volt battery. So if you have a goal zero or a Jackery, you could use that and just plug it in straight to the bottom. I personally prefer using a separate deep cycle battery. We don't recommend plugging this thing into your truck battery. It's not really designed for constant current. It's really designed to start your truck and high currents to power your alternator. So in here I have a Renogy 200 amp hour AGM battery. Uh, it's super heavy. I'm probably gonna change out to a lithium iron phosphate. It's gonna do better in the cold. And it's also gonna be a lot lighter than this. We're gonna basically test out a bunch of batteries and let you know our recommendations. But the question really is, is if you have a separate battery in the bed of your truck, how do you recharge that? We're gonna try to offer these at install. So if you want a complete solution, if you want solar panels, if you want a charge controller, if you want an inverter, I'll go over those in a second, tell you what those are. Uh, we're gonna be able to offer those. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in, or if you just wanna have your own goal zero and not deal with a complicated permanent install. Let me show you what we got. All right, assuming that we're using a permanent install in bed deep cycle battery, let's talk about how to charge that. Let me show you how I came up with, with my solution here. There's a couple different ways you can do this. One way is to use what's called a DC to DC battery charger, 
where you can hook up a battery charger directly to your alternator and then have that charge up your deep cycle battery in the bed of your truck. Um, if you're going on long road trips, it's great because you don't have to have solar panels. So that's an option for you. Another option is using solar panels and the way to, you can't just hook them directly up to your battery. You have to have something called a charge controller. And this is what this box is here. It makes it really easy. You plug in your, your wires here and then your output to your battery comes out of these wires here. This is known as an MPPT charge controller. It basically varies the voltage and the current given on how much light is on the solar panels during the day. There's an older version called a PWM. Uh, those are totally fine too, but we're probably gonna stock one of these MPPT versions. Let me walk you through some of the wire mess that we have here, just to let you know how we built out our, built out our setup. We have four different connections on both the positive and the negative terminals on this battery. So one is the output from the charge controller, one is our 1000 watt inverter, which basically has two plugs, so if I want to use my laptop or any kind of accessory that requires that kind of power, I can do so. We have juice box, and then we also have my Dometic fridge, it has a freezer built into it, it's pretty awesome. If you don't have an electric fridge, it's quite game changing, I don't have to go and buy ice anymore and I always have a cold beer. So let me know in the comments below if this is something that you guys would like us to offer during install. I think it'd be awesome if you guys are coming out, getting your camper installed. And if you don't have this set up, if you want it, we can install it all for you so you'll be ready to go on your next adventure. So let me know below. Until then, I'll talk to you guys next time.